Well, hello everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. So today is a wonderful rainy day here on our Southern Hemisphere Island and there has been some, some changes happening here. So this used to be where Dora lived and I was like, you know what? I have some amiibo cards and I wanna make some use of them. So today, officially, we have a new resident here on on our island. It is Dina. Look at her. Oh, Dina, welcome to our island. So she's kind of adorable. <laughs> so anyways, in case you're wondering, we have a new villager here on our island. It is Dina. And originally I was also planning to replace someone else with an amiibo card as well, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do that because right now I think we have only two possible villagers that we could let go of and they are Hans and Astrid. I have a feeling that Frida and Billy will not want to leave for a while because they are both my starters. And even though I really like both of them a lot, I think we are going to let them go eventually because, uh, well, first of all, they are stuck in those like starter homes, so they don't have their original houses. Anyways, enough chit chat. Um, I'm gonna work on trying to kick out a villager right now and yeah, let's see if we can get Astrid or Hans move out today. And then we are going on a villager hunt. I just wanted to say that Hans looks so out of place on this tropical island, especially during summer. Like he is the winter villager. Look at him go. <laughs> It is like snowflake umbrella. Oh, you guys, Hans wants to leave. Hans wants to go. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna let him. Good luck, Hans. I mean, I was pretty shocked to have him at first, but why do I kind of feel bad for letting him go? Look at him go with that little like basket. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, Hans has left the island and I don't know, I kind of feel a little bit bad. I know some of you really liked Hans, but you know, he was not really uh, the perfect fit for this island. So for today's hunt, I have 50 tickets. It's quite a lot. I kind of hope that we don't have to use that many today, but I think we're just going to go on this hunt, see who do we find. If we vibe with someone, we might bring them home as usual. Um, Of course, June would be the best, but you know what? We're just going to see who do we see. <laughs> Alrighties, let's go on our first island. So yeah, I've been going through our original dream team list and also some of the villagers that you've been suggesting j -j 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 suggest oh my goodness, I can't say that word anymore. I don't know if this ever happens to you, but I like Every time I mess up a word and when I try to say it again, I just cannot say that word anymore. Like just my brain is like, no, 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 we're not gonna do that word. So anyways, thanks for telling me some good ideas for nice tropical villagers. <laughs> Sneakily going around that word. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go through some villagers that I'm thinking we could bring today. Uh, but let's go and check who is on the first island. Is that Nox? Yes. <laughs> we see Nox all the time. <sighs> well, we just take this and on to the next island. Um, what was I talking about? Yes. So we have some tropical choices here for the villagers. Yeah, originally I was thinking that I would like to have like one of each species on the island, but I think we might bring some duplicate species because I don't know, some of these villagers are just adorable and we kind of need them because they are like perfect for a tropical island. So currently we have June, Kabuki, Camel Frog, Hopkins, Poppy, Drift, Lyman, Bill, Joey, Sydney, Alice. Ah, uh, that was the wrong button. And Annalise on the list. Um, I kind of would like to see what other snooty personalities there are out there. Um, what did I do? Did I press that thing again? 
Oh my goodness, I can't... Where are we going? Honestly, I did not look. I hope this was a mystery island. Anyways, so we are seeing all our regulars today. It is Spike. Oh yeah, by the way, it is raining like every day on my island right now. Like, I was time traveling a little bit to kick out, well, Hans, and it was raining like every single day. It didn't matter if it was March or April, it was raining every day. I need to like clean up my island because it's covered in weeds and crazy flowers now. Oh my dear. Okay, no luck on island number two. Let's move on. So yeah, let's see if we find anyone that I just mentioned. Mentioned. Um, I think Hopkins, Poppy, and Drift at least were some of the villagers that you guys have been suggesting. Oh dear, who is this? Oh my goodness, who is this? Anikati. <laughs> no. N uh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's go. So I think as per usual, we're just gonna like vibe. I don't know. That sounds like an awful word to use. Um, yeah, like if we find someone cute today, just like last time, we might bring them to the island because you know what? I think we just deserve some cuties. And yeah, maybe if it's someone out of this list, we might bring them anyways if we just find someone cute. We're just gonna see how today's hunt goes because it's kind of also fun to bring some other villagers as well. We can eventually always let them go if they want to leave. And besides, I really need to work on the design of this island suit as well. I haven't done anything yet. So that is also the thing. Like we have this tropical island, but it doesn't really look like anything yet. I'm sure I have like one star on the island right now. Oh, is that flow? Yeah, we didn't even get KK sliders. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of slacking on this island. Okay, Flo, bye. Have your amiibo card. On to the next island. Okay, let's go to... I already lost count. My brain is all over the place today. I apologies for that, you guys. But thanks for coming to hang out for another villager hunt yet again. I know we're doing a lot of villager hunts, but I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying it for the time being. And we need to find more tropical villagers. So maybe that's our agenda today. Maybe we should not bring anyone home like our last hunt was a little bit like random I know but I don't know I was just feeling like I wanted to bring in a cute villager but maybe we should focus on the actual tropical dreamies this time okay who is in here Nan <laughs> as I said we are seeing all the regulars today I still find it so interesting how we actually just always run into the same villagers like that is a thing that is not like I can't really believe that the way that these mystery islands generate is actually random because we see literally the same villagers over and over again. That That is not like, that is not a random chance, right? <laughs> it has to be like every game has its regular setup of villagers that always appear on these mystery islands. And we still have so many villagers that we've never seen. So it is really interesting how that works. Okay, moving on to the next island. Let's see how our hunt is going to go today. Island number six. Uh, who are you? Lionel. Okay, uh, I think we've seen you before. I'm sure we have, but not too often. And yeah, to be honest, when the villagers are wearing the raincoats, they look a little bit different. Like, it makes it more difficult to recognize them. Lionel, okay, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the lion villagers. They're, they're in that okay category with like birds and stuff. Okay, next island, let's go. Who is that? Is that... Wait... GG! <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember when I've seen her. Or have we ever seen Gigi? She looks like I've never seen her before, but I could be wrong. I could honestly be wrong. I think I mix her quite often with D.Va. I'm always down to dish, darling. 
<laughs> well, bye, Gigi. Was nice seeing you for the first time, question mark? Honestly, I'm trying to think. Have we seen her before? I don't think we have. Or then it has been like a really long time ago. So elegant. Okay, next island. Let's go. I'm curious to know, what are the villagers that you run into on every hunt? Like, who are your regulars? Who do you see during your villager hunts all the time? Let me know in the comments comments. We haven't actually seen Claudia in a long time. I'm kind of worried. It's Del. We see Del every now and then. I think we saw, saw him more often during the hunts that we did on my other island. But we see him every now and then over here as well. Bye, Del. Okay, could June maybe be out here? I always forget who this is. M Sandy, maybe? Yes! <laughs> well, hello, Sandy, and goodbye. On to the next island. Let's see, are we gonna burn through all 50 tickets today? Are we gonna find a tropical villager? Maybe we're just gonna bring someone random again. Who knows? <laughs> okay. As I six I can't speak today. As I six it happened again. It happened again. Just forget about it. Who is him here? <laughs> Rocket. Moving on. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. It, it is real. Like, sometimes your brain just refuses to say a word. But I, I knew that this would be our 10th ticket. That was Rocket. We are moving on. Okay, new island, new villager. Who is it going to be? Where is Claudia? Where did she go? No, just no. Why? Okay, um, Broccolo? Yeah, I don't- I just- the mouse villagers. They are not for me. Dare I say that Broccolo is not the worst, at least. <laughs> okay, next island, let's go. Haven't really seen anyone too tropical yet. Who is in here? Oh my goodness. Who is this? Bob. Huh. Um, I think we've seen him. On to the next island. Okay, who is that? Oh. Oh, is this- well, <sighs> I forgot how to pronounce her name again. B, I, I suppose it was. I know I called her Bea last time, but that's kind of the way I would say it. So, B, Bea. I know there are quite a few B, Bea. But I can't say her name. <laughs> she has a lot of fat. She is a she, right? I think she's normal, isn't it? I think. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. Let me Google real quick. Okay, she's normal. Excellent. Um, she's a cutie. She's definitely a cutie. But we are moving on because she's not the tropical villager for us. I want to see her house, actually. Oh my goodness. Her house is like a... Like some sort of diner or cafeteria or something. That is adorable. Aww. Let's move on. Kind of feel bad leaving her again. But I highly recommend checking her house interior uh, because it's really awesome. I don't know, that is like one of my favorite things to do in this game, just like check out the villager houses. It's like actually kind of a big thing that affects which villagers I invite to my island. I mean, if they're cute, I don't mind what their house looks like, but it's also kind of interesting. Everyone has like their special house interior. Oh, we're seeing Money Rock Island so many times and it's another chicken on a Money Rock Island. It's Benedict. Eggs Benedict. Okay. Well, we are not really looking for a chicken, so we are moving on. I think some of my favorite houses in the game are Diana's house. I think it's gorgeous. I think Sprinkles has an amazing house as well from the inside. Uh... Audie's house is perfect. I really- I think it suits her personality so well. And what else? I mean, there are just great designs on the villager houses. Okay, let's go on the next island. I love how Wilbur is using the dull umbrella. So cute. Oh, it's Fauna again. <laughs> I mean, it's our first time seeing Fauna today, but wow, we see her all the time over here. Oh, <laughs> she's my sweetheart, but I have her on my other island. So obviously I'm not gonna bring duplicate villagers. Oh, my dear Fauna, you're adorable. <laughs> she likes, she's like, I'm amazing. You should 
should have me on both of your islands. But yeah, I I often think that I want to bring some of the villagers that I let go of in the past back to my island, but I don't know, like there are so many cute villagers in this game that it's kind of fun to mix them around a little bit, like have new villagers coming to your island. And Fauna, I don't think I will ever let her go, she's one of my favorite villagers, all time favorites. Okay, next island. Okay, who is in here? Who is this? Clyde. Okay, alrighties. Not the horse that we're looking for. We could bring Poppy or Annalise. Annalise is the perfect tropical villager as well. Very underrated. Yeah, Poppy's home is maybe a little bit... Like, from the outside, it looks very tropical, but I think his exterior is more like kid core, I think someone would say, but I mean, Poppy is adorable. But then again, we just took Sherb, so we we just took a lazy villager, so I'm not sure. Let's see, who is in here? Haha, <laughs> it's Louie. You keep on on surviving. We are moving on. I just really want to find June. I just want to find June. Okay, let's see who is on this island. Is this going to be our lucky island number 18? It is. Who is this? I think we've seen this villager before, but I don't remember. Cloud. Okay, I don't know why. But I'm kind of vibing the bunny villagers. They are adorable. <laughs> They're just so cute. But we have one bunny right now and yeah. I don't know, Cloud, what personality is he? Okay, Cloud is lazy as well. But I think if we're gonna bring a lazy bunny to the island, it would be Hopkins, definitely. Or we might bring Drago back. I don't know, there are just too many good villagers. It's really difficult to decide which ones to bring to your island and which not. So many cute villagers in this game. Okay, let's see who is on this next island. We have almost spent 20 tickets for this hunt already. Honestly, I don't know how people do like 500 tickets or something. Who is that? Oh no, no, it's, uh, it's Bianca. I don't know, for a moment there, I thought it was Lolly because I could only see the the feet. <laughs> Can't believe we've also left Lolly behind. I don't know. I almost feel like I want a third island just because there are so many villag villagers that I want in my game. It's like so difficult to decide. <laughs> okay, can we find June, please? Orville, come on. We have supported this airline with countless tickets. I think we deserve someone cute and tropical, like June. Okay. Who is this? Is that Annalise? Oh my goodness. We found a tropical villager. But that was so good. I can't, like, I can't recognize the villagers. I was like, who is that? That's like a, wait. <laughs> it's going to be a really short haunt yet again. But well, she is the perfect tropical villager. Her house is perfect. It kind of almost reminds me of Audie's house a little bit. Like from the inside. Spending time on an island like this is so relaxing. I feel like a movie star off on an exotic vacation. Ah, yes. I could easily spend the rest of my days basking in this sort of island life. Nipper, come to my island, Annalise. Are you quite serious? Yes, I am. We need a tropical villager and you are on our original dream team list. I know she's not like super popular, but I think she's adorable. And it's kind of fun to have someone new on the island and someone very tropical. I know our previous villager hunts have been a little bit different. We didn't get anyone tropical, but Annalise is joining our island, you guys. I'm really happy. She's a cutie. Okay. Well, there we go. Her house actually fits quite perfectly over here on the beach because I can see that her house interior has a surfing board inside. So, you know, I think Annalise likes to surf. So what could be a better spot than this spot here on the beach? Well, that honestly went quite fast. 
I am enjoying the shorter villager hunts, but I also kind of a little bit miss the longer hunts as well. So I think maybe for the next video, we are going to do a little bit of a longer villager hunt. Maybe we're gonna spend another 50 tickets to find June. Let me know if that sounds like a good idea. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's villager hunt. I know it was a little bit shorter again. I'm really interested to see how Annalise fits this island and yeah i'm really happy to find a tropical cutie anyways once again thank you for watching you guys and i hope to see you all in the next one bye guys